So in the textbook on page number 42, an example of linear feedback shift register is given. Let's look at it. So we have here a linear feedback shift register with degree 3. Degree 3 means we have three flip-flops, F, F2, F, F1, F, F0. Initial values of these flip-flops are F, F2 is 1, F, F1 is 0, F, F0 is 0. You can see in this configuration that F, F2 in the next cycle is F, F1, X, R, F, F, 0. As you can see, the output of F, F1, XOR with the output of F, F0, which will be F, F2 in the next cycle. The second bullet here is F, F1 in the next cycle is F, F2 in the current cycle. As you can see, the output of F, F2 in the next cycle will be the F, F1, the current cycle. Same way for the third bullet FF0 in the next cycle is the FF1 in the current cycle. For this problem we have to calculate the cycle length, output cycle and the total output. Alright, let's look at the table which we draw here. I'm going to go from clock cycle 0 all the way to 13. Clock cycle 0 is always the initial one or the current cycle. So let's put the value of FF2, FF1 and FF0 for clock cycle 0. So FF2 is 1, FF1 is 0, FF0 is 0. Now clock cycle 1 is our current cycle next cycle I'm sorry clock cycle 1 is our current cycle and the previous cycle which is clock cycle 0 is our current cycle so for clock cycle 1 as you can see in the first bullet FF2 in the next cycle is the XR of FF1 with FF0 so XR of FF1 and FF0 is 0 and FF1 according to the second bullet FF1 in the next cycle is FF2 in the current cycle so the FF2 of the current cycle will become FF1 in the next cycle same way for the bullet 3 FF0 in the next cycle is FF1 in the current cycle so FF1 of the next cycle is zero. Now for clock cycle two, XR of FF one and FF zero, which is one, and same way FF two here and FF one. All right, so let's calculate for clock cycle 3. So XR of 0 and 1 for clock cycle 3 is 1 and the values will be 1, 0. Then XR of 1, 0 is 1 and value will be 1, 1. So we are just shifting these values here. And then XR of 1, 1 is 0, shifting these values xr of this is 0, shifting these values, xr 1, shifting these values, clock cycle 8, xr of 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, xr of 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, xr, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, XR of 1, 1, 0. So XR of 1 and 1 is 0. 
and 1 will move here this one will move here xr of 1 and 1 is 0 again 0 will move here 1 is going to move here we'll stop here on clock cycle 13 let's look at the pattern of the output if you look at first seven numbers here 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 this pattern is going to repeat again 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 so the cycle length is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and the output cycle is 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 so 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 and the total output is 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 for clock cycle 13 from starting from clock cycle 0 till 13.